Hey citizens, welcome back to the channel. I'm Viceroy and today we're diving into the world of Gas Station Simulator and more specifically checking out the brand new Junkyard DLC. In this video, we'll be taking a first look at what it's like to run your very own gas station in the middle of nowhere USA. From pumping gas to managing the store, there's a lot to keep you busy. And more specifically, with the recent release of the Junkyard DLC, we'll be showing us some of the basics of the base game and then skipping to the Junkyard DLC to take a look at that. So grab your keys folks, you're in for a ride. Let's get started with Gas Station Simulator. So we're going to jump into the classic mode with storyline because where we are new players on the game. I have not actually played uh, Gas Station Simulator before. So we're going to become a Route 66 legend. So with the Junkyard DLC, we're adding a whole new layer of excitement to the game, restoring broken vehicles, salvaging parts and turning trash into treasure. And I would like to thank you, the, the, uh, thank you. I would like to thank the developer for giving me a free access key to the Junkyard DLC. But I will say I already own the base game. And I did plan on getting around to play in it. I just hadn't yet. But here we are. Here we are. We're doing it now. Liking the intro. It's quite cool. The graphics are really good on this, to be fair. For sale. Is that something people would like really do? It's like you're just driving down the highway and it's like, oh, it's a gas station for sale. I just happen to have like $20,000 in my pocket. Congratulations, you are now the owner of Dust Bowl Gas Station. 12 hours later. Okay. Current tasks. Figure out how to enter the gas station. Hint. While holding something, throw it with the right mouse button into the trash. It can get you a good score. Or get you a score. Not necessarily a good score. Where's the trash can? Is that a trash can? No, that's too small to be a trash can. Okay. I'm liking the graphics. They're very, uh, very ambient for the time of night. They got that down quite well. Is this all rubbish? Does it all need to go in the bin? Speaking of the bin, where is the bin? Oh, it's down there. Okay. Oh, that was that was pathetic, wasn't it? Oh, so, it didn't go in, but the game thought it went in, so we'll take it as a win. That one went in. Here we go. Right, do we have a torch or flashlight for American? Let's check all this down. There we are, we're getting better slowly. <laughs> Very slowly. Hope this is all trash. Imagine we just thrown all our clothes away. Ah, fail. There's a very similar sort of premise to Pumping Station Simulator, which we've played before on the channel, which is a good game. Graphics-wise, this looks much better, I will say. Oh, we even missed from here. <laughs> Come on. We gotta get better than this. Oh, crap. Where did I go? <laughs> Um, I have no idea where that just went. I have like a whole... Oh, is that the new junkyard stuff? Yes, root junkyard. Junkyard, no trespassing. So we need to be at level 4. Uh, level 4 gas station to unlock that. So what we're going to do is we're going to play some basics of the base game. Sort of serve a few customers and then we're going to fast forward to the junkyard so you guys can take a look at that. I mean, the main part of this video today is to show off the Junkyard DLC, but for me, having not played it at all before anyway, <laughs> it is the whole experience. Um, junkyard shortcut F. Junkyard is currently closed. Okay. So, warehouse is that way. This looks like the gas station. I'm guessing these are supposed to be going in the bin. Not just throwing them on the floor. Yeah, we probably should put them in the bin. Oh, look at those flies. Nice. Can we pick up more than one thing at a time? No. Okay. Da da da. Oop. Need to learn to walk. Or we can run. Where'd the other one go? 
sure there's another one that just sort of disappeared into oblivion. Here we go, we're in the gas station. Gas completed. It's ten past nine. Is it? Yeah. Follow the high voltage cable and find a way to turn on the electricity. Wow, this place is a dump, isn't it? Fair play. Look at the lighting, though. That looks amazing. I know it's like not real, like ray trace is sort of um, pre render, but it still looks really good. Do we have a skip out here? No. Let's sort that out in a minute. High voltage cable, right. High voltage cable. Well, that looks like it goes here. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe not. They both go in there, so maybe we need to go to the corner over here? Nope. No. Oh, wait. Yes? Oh, that's cool in the background. That generator sounds dodgy. Pick up the phone at the booth in front of the station. Okay, it's getting better. It's getting better. I do like the ambience though. Those look really good. Fair play. Telephone's ringing. Is it for us? Congratulations on your purchase and investment, little nephew. Yay. It has been a while since you've heard my voice now, hasn't it? It has. Yes, I'm a busy person. But luck would have it that the land you've purchased once belonged to my father. Since you are not only What's the a chances? potential business partner, but family no less, I'll do my best to help you. I will send you emails on a regular basis providing you with information on how to handle each part of the business. Okay. Do make sure to pay attention. I will. Well, I must head off now. It was pleasant speaking to you again. Thank you, Uncle. Good luck. Assuming that's our uncle. I'm guessing so. Key to close. You've got mail. Um, read the email on the computer. Oh, look at that sunrise. It looks so good. But I do like playing games like this. They're quite relaxing. Here we go. Email. Howdy. Howdy. All greetings and salutations. The dialect never really was my forte. Regardless, I've just heard you've made a solid investment, though. Uh, solid investment. Though, I pity the fact you had to sell your car for it. You could have always asked me for a loan. I pitch in with a few tips and tricks. My emails will come periodically so you can index them and their topics. You need to get this station up and running. Who knows how badly it got damaged all those years ago. Don't forget to keep generating profit. Refurbish a fuel dispenser first. Oh, and don't worry about the money for this part. We're family after all, and family keeps an eye on each other's backs. I'm here to lend a helping hand, and a man like me puts money where my, the mouth is, as they say. Okay, go get into the mini excavator. The mini excavator. I feel like we should be throwing stuff like this in the bin as well, so we'll do this on the, uh, the way through. Mini excavator. Ah, I see. This play, uh, place comes with everything, doesn't it? Uh, reset. It's a kind of magic... Mini excavator. Control the excavator with WASD. Hold left mouse button to pick up, drop the sand. Handbrake can be used on spacebar. Hold left shift to use turbo. An excavator with a turbo. The engine overheats while scooping sand and using turbo. The exhaust turns red. Hold right mouse button to cool it off. Overheating will cause you to lose extra fuel and stop the turbo. Okay. Remove the sand piles in front of the gas pump. Okay, so, back to the computer. We have some more uncle advice. I want to say something to do with fuel. <laughs> Mail. New ride, excavator. I see you found Rudy. I'm talking about the excavator. One of my contractor's uh, workers got it. I uh, got, let's say, attached to the thing. Avenge, oh dear. <laughs> Eventually the name stuck, so she's Rudy now. Either way, I don't need her, but I can see how she'll come in handy to you. Just be careful, she's old. The gears will overheat. If you gather sand, you might have to vent the heat if you don't uh if you do not do this, the engine will overheat and you will lose extra fuel. Oh, 
and don't dump the sand just anywhere, either haul it outside of your station's border or look for a desi designated area to pile it up. Technically, I believe your type of license shouldn't cover driving heavy duty vehicles like Rudy, but I'm willing to cover for you. Out of heart, out of mind, and business. Um, and besides even. <laughs> I know quite well that you don't really get patrols in your area. Not any significant ones. Uh, at any rate, happy hauling. And then, I'm sure you know this, but I'll just quickly remind you. You need a jerry can to refill with Rudy. Open your tool inventory tab to find it and keep an eye on the inventory itself. I'm sure it'll grow with time. And that isn't a jerry can. We need to find a jerry can. It's probably one over here where this question mark is. That's that's my uh but, but <laughs> excuse me, I have a stinking cold at the moment, so uh my voice is a bit um sounds stuffy more than usual. Not my voice generally sounds stuffy, but you know what I mean. Okay, while holding a jerry can, uh, left mouse button on the distributor to replenish it. If it's full, click left mouse button on the excavator's fuel cap to refuel it. Okay. It's empty, so we need to refuel this first. At the pump outside, no doubt. Let's put it there. And it's now full. Awesome. Do Rudy. There we go. We put that away. And now we can jump in there. We have to keep an eye on our fuel and the temperature. We just like stop and left click. Ah, hold that mouse button to pick up, got it. And then this is going sand disposal. How convenient. Let's keep an eye out for the exhaust, make sure it doesn't turn red. All stuff we need to do to be a successful business person. There we go. Task complete. Open the gas station for customers. We should park Rudy out the way somewhere first, but we'll just uh, leave it like here for now. That'd be fine. You've got mail. Transfer between maps. You can now transfer between maps using the signpost. Use F. Uh, use the F button to open the map selection. Select the desired look destination and enjoy the new challenge. This bowl is now officially open, folks. Gas station opening. You can open and close the gas station at any time. Use the downtime to organize the gas station and do other activities that you can find. Right next to the lever, there is a button that restarts traffic. Restarts traffic. This will reset all the cars and customers. And oh, we don't want to do that, do we? It's flashing. Doesn't mean we should probably push it. Refill your fuel supplies using the PC. Delivery, fuel, um, add... 100? Yeah, seems like a good amount. What's our email say? You can open and close the gas station. I guess that's easy enough. Oh, and there's a magic trick to it all. Let's say it, it takes about 60 seconds for the traffic to untangle itself in case someone, or God forbid you, make a terrifying mess of the road outside your station. <laughs> Since the garage and the warehouse are in ruin, you can only order fuel for now. The tab uh, for that is simply called delivery. Easy, eh? Feel free to restock at your leisure. I've covered the expenses myself, as I said, I'm here to do more than just put in a good word and send a prayer once in a blue moon. Consider my aid a family-friendly investment. I expect great things from you. Or maybe we should have just filled the tank then if he was paying. Yeah, let's do a bit more tidying up while we're waiting. Test your skills on arcade while you wait for the next assignment. I think we should, uh, we have a customer. Get rid of some of this rubbish. Customer, but we have no fuel yet. How far away is the fuel truck? Guessing it's not instantaneous. Well, we can't go in there yet. Oh, we can. 
I'm sure there's more things to do than uh, this. <laughs> Yeah, sorry we didn't serve you we were playing with an RC car. This is cool, mate. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> There's probably more important things to be doing right now than playing with an RC car, right? <laughs> this thing handles pretty well. Meow. What a cool course. Imagine if this was real and you get you get to drive like an RC car with a camera on it like this around the track, that'd be awesome. There's a massive track as well. Oops. How big is this track? We just missed a checkpoint. Blank. Oh, I think we're okay. This is, is this like the game's way of sort of like getting you to look around the place? Like, here's a tour of the place, but we're going to do it differently. Like, the arcade music is cool. Oh, no. Must fail to the last hurdle. <laughs> Maybe I had an achievement for that, at least. Worth it. We can't go that way. Here we can. We can go this way. Oh, the fuel delivery's here. What do we do? We just uh, turn the valve. Left click? Yeah. We've got 100 uh, liters. Gallons? Liters? Hi. Serve the first customer at the fuel dispenser. Oh, it takes itself off automatically. Good to know. Hello there. Grab the injector. When client is waiting, fuel cap will be outlined. Fill the car by interacting with the cap. Left shift will boost the speed. Hit the mark to get paid. Ah, I see. We probably don't want to boost the speed until we're used to doing it, do we? There we go. 34.40. Nice. Our first sale. Buy a trash bag and equip it. Buy a trash bag. Ah, okay. Ooh, free. Trash bag. Okay, with a trash bag, you can pick up small garbage and replace garbage bags in trash cans. Bigger garbage like junk or filled trash bags must be put in containers outside. Finally, you need to order a garbage collection using a PC. If you left trash cans for a long time, they will start to stink and discourage customers. Achievement and luck, clean it up. How good we are at this. Okay, so they go in here. Good to know. We'll just keep filling them until it's full. And then we'll check all the bags into the skip. Or we'll throw all the bags into the skip, should I say. Um, yeah, we don't want to throw away the clock. Fence <laughs> um, of old trash bags and old furniture. Take all these off the windows. Doesn't look very homely like that, does it? Yeah, our gas station's coming together, folks. Human unlocked. Trash be gone. What was that rubbish? Is this all trash? Apparently it is. Apparently it is. I'll check out the new mail in a second. What's that over there? <laughs> There's a few uh, skips we can choose from. That's good. Okay, so we need to clean up 12 trash bags worth of stuff. We're not going to try and throw them all in because you know how uh, bad I am at that. Apparently. Get better with practice, I suppose. On three. Does this go in a trash bag, or does this just go straight in the skip? <laughs> nope, it's old furniture, it just goes straight in the skip. Uh, 
trash bag. Can you make more than one trash bag at a time? No. Oh, we got a customer. Sorry, with you in a second. There we go. Put that in there. Go to the customer. Sorry for the wait. Job. Think we got okay? I think that went okay? Did we miss it? No, I think we're good. You're welcome. Please come again. Although, where's the chances in a gas station, like on a quiet highway in the middle of nowhere? Where you, are you likely to see the same customers again? Quite unlikely, right? Mold furniture. Yep. Come with me if you want to skip. I'm just gonna. Oh dear. Come on. In you go. Gently does it. That's completed. But there's more rubbish. Okay, buy a broom um, and equip it. We probably should check our mesh as well, see what Uncle wants. There's a lot more to clean up. Mail. Building. Uh, okay, that's pretty much what we already know. So dust. Much like sand in your case. The two are vitally equivalent. It gets everywhere and you can never seem to get rid of it. Well, I'm sure you've noticed, but the same applies to your entire station. You're in the middle of the desert, that and you're dealing with customers. And these come from all walks of life and all levels of personal hygiene. In other words, keep the floors clean. When you're inside, pay attention to how clean the floor is. If it's bad, there's a chance someone might step in something and promptly walk out. Red state in case poor hygiene. Use your trusty broom to keep the floors clean and sparkling. Pull it out of your inventory and start sweeping. Guess we need to buy one. Tools. Broom. Is free. Free is a good price. Uh, let's get rid of some more of this stuff first. I feel like we haven't cleaned up anywhere near as much of the rubbish that we need to. Oh, so how do we put a fresh bag into a bin? Don't know. Oh, we have a customer. Run! We had a small tip from that. Uh, you for the bin? Probably. What the? The hell is that? Hello? Elvis? <laughs> okay, um... Room. In the top left corner you can see the floor's, uh... Dirty status. Or left mouse button to sweep, uh, wipe the footprints, paint stains, and any other dirt from the floor. If you do not take care of the cleaning list, the customers will stop shopping. Human unlocked, broomed. <laughs> and there's a lot more on the floor to worry about than the uh, the sand and the dirt. There we go. Oop, another customer. Water garbage collection using a computer. Can we go this way? I'll try and put a bit more in it before we order a garbage collection. More must fit. Yeah, money's worth. Unless, of course, the more we put in it, the more it costs to collect. I don't know. Maybe homeless people have been living in here because of the, uh, the trolley and everything has been dumped. Okay, services, garbage collection, order. Is it free? It says kid. Dennis. Dennis will appear on station occasionally and ping graffiti on the wall. Stop him by throwing items at him to scare him off. New events will appear during the course of the game. You can turn them off in the options so they do not happen again. I'll throw something at Dennis. Where are you? Hey. Stop it. <laughs> you are standing in a minute, I'll throw a table at you. Oh. 
I told him. <laughs> yeah, that's in there, I think. Possibly. Buy a roller and paint the scribbled walls. Damn, Dennis. Paint roller. Paint roller. Once equipped, through tab, press shift to select a colour. To get close to the wall, press the mouse button to start painting. To start painting, hold left mouse button and stay within the valid range. If you go over the marker, you will splash paint on the floor. Over time, the paint will degrade. You will need to repaint. Okay. Ah, yeah, okay. Um, we're gonna paint it this color. With the graffiti. Oops. Keep pressing shift to run. Ah, I see. Now I understand how it works. There we go. Ah, look at that. Good as new. Ah, oh, this is where we painted. A little git. Oh, crap. I'll move quickly. Oh, we'll do this one as well. But the whole one side is done. I know how long paint lasts. Hopefully it's not something I have to do daily. Look how much nicer that looks. Ah, uh, garbage bags. And we got this. Go in the skip. Oh, garbage collections here. Missed it. If we can chase after it and throw something in it. <laughs> oh, we got this. We're professional painters. Is it free to paint at least? I think it is. Find the right tool to break into the car trunk is our next task. Okay. Um. Rip, pick lock, and use it to open the trunk. Press A and D to rotate the pin. Hold spacebar to try and open the trunk. Be careful not to break the pin. Okay. Yay! Dust bowl painting. 12.99. Achievement unlocked. Deep! Hang the dust bowl painting inside the gas station. Oh crap. This is a little bit of give when the uh, the red area moves. Oh, we've already done this. I meant to do the next bit. Toilet fee $1.50. <laughs> wonder if we can change that. If we change the price, I wonder if that sign changes. Oh crap. There we go. How nice that looks. Okay, painting. This can go on the wall. In the no, I don't want to go on the light. It looks a bit weird there. Oh, that'll do. Buy two shelves. Looking much cleaner in you now, though, isn't it? Shelves. You want to buy soft drinks, snacks, big food stand, small food stand. Um. There's two shelves inside the gas station. Where are they? Oh, we have a customer. Sorry for the wait, sir. Close enough. 
You you do OS one, you OS for the fuel. Fuel status is low, but we need to also more. Um Delivery, 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 delivery. Okay. Fuel. We'll go buy another hundred liters. Decorations, features, shelves. Okay, so we bought them. Now let's check our mail. Okay. He wants to talk to us. Fast cycle. I seem to have been a bit too brief. There's another topic I should cover, lest your establishment becomes a junkyard instead of a gas station. Let's keep it quick. Small trash goes into the trash container or any bin basket. Trash bags fill up and have to be disposed of into a large container. We'll have to go there sooner or later. Yeah, the container won't empty itself or the disposal from the garbage tab of your PC. And I feel repulsed by even having to write this, but do not forget to clean the trash at all times. The stench will frighten clients and this will lose you profit. Dennis. Uh, yeah, we'll just throw things at Dennis. Painting, we've already done. Lockpicking, we've covered that. That's easy enough. Okay. So, the shelves then, do they get delivered to the... Oh, look at that sunrise. Google status is low. So where do we get the shelf summit we bought? Ah, there. These snap to a grid? Not quite. Okay, um rotate. Ah, snapping. Yes, we want snapping. Snapping is good. I feel like snapping's better. And make more better use of the space we're snapping on, I think. Yeah, sort out the fuel delivery. We haven't got to stay here, we just got to twirl this. There we go, and that should sort itself out. We have a customer again. This is going to be a long video, folks, so I hope you don't mind the playthrough. Oop, I think we just got that. Awesome. Uh, we need to place another shelf, don't we? If there's a way to turn on snapping by default. Yeah, I feel that's much better being able to snap things. You can put it back any more than that. No, nope, that's fine. Buy additional parking space via the PC. Ooh, additional parking space. Are there? Oh, nice. A parking lot. Okay. Well, I bet we're going to have to use Rudy to uh, move the sand. Not purchased before cleaning the area. Okay. Okay. Rudy. Cool. Uh, Rudy probably has enough fuel for this bit. We need to move that a little bit there. We're not going to do it all. No, but don't need to do it all yet. There we go. Beep, beep, beep. Customer to fuel. Yep, we'll be with you in a sec. Oh, I wonder if we can hire staff. That would be good if you could hire staff. Is that enough? Let's see if we put Rudy there. That might be enough to uh, go to the parking spots. But this will allow us for customers, I think, that don't want fuel but want to buy something from the shop. Free! Free is a good price. And we have a customer. Answer the call from Uncle. But we'll we'll just pop up his car first. Nearly there. Pre will order 9.78. Great. Spot on. Okay. Uncle. Alright, we're coming. Hello. I see the business is doing well. I'm calling to congratulate you on successfully getting it off the ground. 
Why, thank you, Uncle. You can't run a business on fuel alone. I've you can. <laughs> a few of my people deliver some extra stock for those empty shelves. Of That's kind of it. Time to talk money. You now owe me. Well, I'll send you the invoice to your email. Don't miss it. I'm sorry, nephew, but there is just no room for charity in this world. <laughs> I hope you'll find it within your finances to repay the debt. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll be forced to see to more persuasive methods of reimbursement. Oh, come Don't on, Uncle. That's no way to talk now. to your family. Goodbye. Our Uncle seems dodgy. Your shelves have been restocked. Do have the customer at the cash register. There is no customer at the cash register. Oh, no, there is. Put this in the, the skip first. Well, howdy. Move this rubbish out. It's starting to look like a proper gas station now. That's all this rubbish is gone. Two seconds, young lady. There we go. Okay. So, cash register. Use left shift to move the belt and hold left mouse button to move products. Move products over scanner and put them into the basket. The belt will get dirty over time and slow down. Clean it by holding right mouse button and swiping over the belt. Make no mistake to increase combo and get a tip. Hey, we're getting the hang of this. Yay! Pay the loan using the PC, $5,000. We, we don't have $5,000 yet, so... Yes, that means we're going to have to make some money to pay back, Uncle. Loan. Cash loans. Fast. Our Uncle looks like a, a loan shark, doesn't he? Hello there. Cha-ching. Yeah, it would be handy to be able to order, um, order. <laughs> to be able to hire staff to do some of these things. Okay, any more rubbish we need to pick up? I think we're good. Um... There's no... I think there's a trash bag in there, is there? How do we do that? We just walk up to it and be like... Left click? <laughs> We're not going to be in the, uh, the clock. Hello, officer. Where do we go tools? No trash bag. I don't have to buy multiple of them. Okay. So to short, keep the video a bit shorter now, we're just going to serve some customers, you know, sell some stock, sell some fuel. And when we're at the point to do the next objective, I will be right back. Hey, Pong! Where's our goddamn money? Oh, so... Ow. We haven't had much time, have we? And Uncle just sort of sent this guy after us, who's kicked our ass by the seams of it. Didn't seem like a fair amount of time. Is this... I'm guessing this is our ankle. What a way to treat family, eh? They do say never to borrow money off family, don't they? Well, hopefully we're not dead. <laughs> I like the music in this game. Wake up, Sam. You've got a gas station to run. Well, I would if you didn't kick my ass and knock me out. Humans unlocked the uncle. So we've met Uncle now, and he's uh, he's been an ass, isn't he? Hey, nephew. Back on your feet? 
I hope your head's no longer spinning. Thanks for picking up. We need to talk. <laughs> there was a mistake, a serious one. You can rest easy knowing I will have the responsible people dealt proper retribution for what has happened. The amount of time on your investment loan deadline was rendered far too short for what the amount Ah, I see, so it was a mistake. It's plain bad business. And I don't make bad business decisions. I guess maybe uncle's not as Let's much for ass as we thought. Let's forget debacle for the time being. As a token of apology, please accept this small gift. It will help with your next delivery. No strings attached. Hmm. However, you will need to make the warehouse operational again to receive it. Somehow. You're a resolute lad. You'll figure it out. Okay. Taking out a loan is now available on your computer. The loan money has been returned to you. Okay, so I did pay a little bit off. To try and make some small payments. So complete all challenges to be able to upgrade the gas station. Hint. Upgrading the gas station is done from the station's menu. Accessible through the main PC screen. Challenge. Buy a landmark decoration. We got upgrades here. Gas station level 2. Unlocked warehouse, workshop. Additional quest progress needed. Okay. Ooh, employee. Didn't see that before. That's good to know. Oh, you got mail. Let's have a look. What's the message say? A loan of goodwill. Before you get down to any kind of manual labor, nephew, we should talk about new preventative measures. You know the saying, better than a, better than a cure and all that? Good. Yes, I'm talking about what has transpired. It's uh, high time you learn how to properly handle loans. I'm a generous soul. While I do loathe unregulated debts, we are family and your business is very much an investment I'd like to see uh, say pay off. When things are going poorly, feel free to ask for a little pick-me-up. You can reach me from your PC's loan tab. A one-time injection of a few dollars should prop you back on your own feet without issue. But remember, what's due has to come around. Each loan will have a certain deadline by which I expect my generous gift to uh, return in full. If it doesn't happen, we'll have to talk about other measures of reimbursement. Oh, and remember, even my great patience has limits. Don't expect another loan if you have one still waiting to be paid off. That will be all. I hope we'll have a much better relationship from now on. Kiddo, good luck. Yes, hopefully no more um, misunderstandings. Okay, we cleaned the belt, so it moves a bit quicker now. Uh -oh. Yay! Scan combo 5. Doot, doot. Oh, and the customer had fuel. Hopefully we don't get beaten up again. <laughs> Have a nice day. We need to get the warehouse operational. Warehouse is over here, I believe. Is that Rudy too? So we unlock that with the next version of the warehouse. Oh, this is where we live. Forgot about that. Pizza box. This can go in the bin. <laughs> Keep an eye on the cleanliness as well. Let's forget about that. I think we're okay, but let's just double check. We have a little bit of dust on the floor. Okay. So restocking that stuff is probably done through here as well, right? Management? Nope. Oh, we can close individual parts of the gas station. That's handy. You can close the whole gas station, the parking spot, the fuel dispenser. Oh, that's good to know. What's that over there? We should go check that out. Customer at fuel. Nope, wrong side. It's looking much nicer in here, apart from a big construction zone in the middle of the store. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Let me clean the conveyor belt when there's nobody waiting. I think we can. 
No. Okay. How'd you buy a landmark decoration? Oh, this would probably do it. Fifty dollars. You've got mail. <laughs> Upgrades. All right, nephew. You'll need to get something straight. As much as I can see, you're putting a lot of effort into running your station. And indeed, the charts show you're making good profit. It's stifled. No matter how hard you try, some things just require external factors to progress. Factors such as expansion. If you go to the appropriate tab on your PC, you will be able to order construction work to quickly upgrade one of your existing facilities, the station itself, the garage, or the warehouse. The last two available when the right time comes. All of them will expand the area and provide not only more work, but more benefits and sources of income. That said, the station is perhaps the one that will feel most immediate when you decide to upgrade it. Feel free to order construction work now. I've already made a small investment to help you get started. Let's call it getting even for the purple uh, I, my faithful assistant, might have given you. <laughs> That's very generous of him. But hey, look at that. Achievement and Luck, Station Level 2. Find a way to enter the warehouse and open its gates. But first, let's, uh, we should probably serve the customers waiting. How much do I owe you? Um, it's all good. Management. Oh, it's not management, is it? It's uh, we order more stock. Delivery. No nope, fuel. Guess we can't order unless I'm missing it somewhere. This fur this furniture, no actual items to go on it. So how do we restock the shelves? Services? Nope. Okay, we'll we'll figure it out. Oh, it's got bigger. We got all this crap to get rid of. Is this rubbish? Yeah, looks like rubbish. Just as I wanted. You're welcome. Okay, I'm gonna move this clock over a little bit. Just so we can sort of walk past here. So a little bit quicker to get out, you know? La da dee. Oh, customer fill. Oh, on the way. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah, snapping is definitely better. 100% would rather snapping than uh, reselecting. What do you guys think? Free snap, uh, free, free form sort of placement or uh, snapping so that everything just sort of like nicely snaps into place. Because there's nothing left on the shelves now. Which uh, worries me a little. Um, okay, let's, maybe we go and unlock the warehouse before we can um, order supplies in. <laughs> it's like one of those animatronic bands. That's cool. Let's A. <laughs> Find a way to enter the warehouse and open its gates. Okay, let's open the gates. Uh, no, we don't want to reset the cars and customers. We want to open the gate. Be careful. Keep your warehouse gates closed. Otherwise, someone may steal from you. Okay. Remove the haystacks to make the warehouse operational again. They go in there. Be better off just throwing the haystacks out in the desert, truly. 
than paying to have them collected. The thing they, yeah, uh, because they're quite large items, they take quite a bit of room. But, nope, that's not fitting in there. Come on. In you go. There we are. That was pathetic, wasn't it? <laughs> there we go. There's nothing in the warehouse to steal at the moment, so we're fine on that. Restore the warehouse from the main uh, PC tab. We haven't got all the hay yet. Come on, sit nicely. There we go. It will order a garbage collection too. Oh, we have uh, full trash. And go in the skip too. We have a customer waiting. Okay, so let's order collection services, garbage collection, order, serve the fuel. Fuel status slow, so we need to order some more fuel. Um, delivery fuel. Order two hundred. Three hundred twenty-two dollars. Yeah, that's right. Last bit longer, wouldn't it? You got mail. Warehouse and deliveries. Time to make sure make your first purchase, kiddo. Last time I had products delivered for you. Now you get to be the one who chooses what to sell. Make sure to double check the price for your own sake. You want to sell at a stable price, but the suppliers really care. Buy what uh, when it is definitely lowest. I hope you make the right choices. Before you can order a product, you have to make sure you have space to showcase it. Always make sure to purchase the right amount and type shelves. To order products, just click on the appropriate card in the delivery tab. Then select the desired quantity and click on the shopping cart icon in the upper right corner. All that's left is to confirm the order and wait for delivery. You must remember that the company may charge an additional fee if the order does not exceed the appropriate amount, so order wisely. So it's like a minimum order, I'm guessing. Deliveries aren't instantaneous, despite what you might have thought. Now, since you still have to do uh, menial physical labor yourself, you'll have to unpack them yourself. To do this, move the boxes from the newly arrived truck to the cabinet in your warehouse. When you're done unpacking, the truck will depart and you will be able to put your items on the appropriate shelves. In order to do that, merely approach a shelf of your choice and interact with it. The available products will be at your disposal, filtered to the appropriate shelf type. One more thing, remember to always close the warehouse gates when you're not working around the place. A thief will smell an opportunity a mile away. So don't be reckless here. Don't hurt your back, nephew. Okay, who's beeping the fuel delivery truck? And the garbage truck. Oh, the fuel delivery truck is beeping at the garbage truck. But it's just you doing here doing his job. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Relax, don't do it. Come on. There we go. Okay, um, upgrades, warehouse level one. Warehouse obtained. Yay. People like their horns here, don't they? What the hell's beeping? Oh, this guy beeping at the fuel track. Chill. Move when he's ready. <laughs> Your funds are under a red line. Spend reasonably. No, they're not. Products. Uh, snacks. Chips. Rice. Paprika. Um, bellies. Chunky. How much did that come to? Uh, 162. No fee. Cool. Okay, so it looks like our warehouse has 200 space is good to know. 
So wait for the delivery truck to arrive, then unpack all the products into the warehouse. Meanwhile, we shall serve the customer with fuel. I don't know how long that's going to take. Oh, 300 and... Incredible. 330 meters away. Coming. It's a coming. Sorry, we'll have more stock soon. I don't know if I'm supposed to be uh, dumping this stuff, but it looks like rubbish. <laughs> can, can I get this out of the door? <laughs> How do I get this out of the door? Hint, the truck can't deliver your products when the door is closed, but it isn't closed. Delivery at warehouse gate. Okay. A lot of crap in here as well. It needs to go in the, uh, the skip. Okay, where are the shelves? Oh, they're up there. Okay, so we haven't got to do it box by box, so that's good to know. There we are. Close the warehouse gates. We fill the shelves with products from the warehouse. How do you do that? We like go to the shelf and then choose what we want to go in on the shelf, maybe? Ah, yes. Ah, okay. I, I like that. That's a good way of stocking a shelf. Pick up the phone, your uncle has some words for you. Oh dear. Yes, I uncle. See you're putting hard work into keeping your station running again, kid. Good. We are. Good. I wouldn't have it any other way. I just wanted to remind you I'm not the only one judging your performance. Sure, your uncle knows better how to keep a business going and wants to see you flourish. But my approval only goes so far. The real approval you need to watch out for is the one given to you by your customers. If word of slander gets out, you might even sell Egyptian diamonds for free, and nobody <laughs> will bat an eye. Keep those customers happy, you hear? I hear, Uncle. Po popularity. Gather positive feedback from customers to increase the popularity level of your station. Higher popularity increases traffic around your station, which increases the amount of customers coming by. Positive feedback can be obtained by running the station in a clean, efficient manner. So can't wait to be able to hire staff to do this. Thank you. Next. Nice. Positive feedback. So we're level one popularity. Great. Ta da. Buy a, buy a toilet using a computer by pressing other in the features tab. Features, other. How does one buy a toilet? Ah, I see. Level one toilet unlocked. <laughs> what else can we buy? Oh, just parking and toilet at the moment. Clean up the toilet with a broom. Oh, it sounds like it's going to be fun. Nice day. You too, officer. Nice feedback. Oh, hey, ghosty. Oh, dear. Ah, oh, look at that poop on the floor. <laughs> I'm not picking that up. <laughs> I'm definitely not picking that by hand. Increase the station's popularity rating by one. Yeah, we, we already read the gist of that, didn't we? Okay, so now we just do a little bit of tidy on that while waiting for customers to come in. 
Maybe there's a way of upgrading the floor so it doesn't get dirty as often. I guess this is all rubbish. Put some of it in the bin, shall we? In the trash. I'm bin in it and we actually need it. Maybe. Let me pick it up using these. We get money for binning some of this stuff. No. Okay, so we'll be back when the station's popularity has reached level one. Or level two. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> We're now a level two gas station, everybody. Or popularity level. You're a life saver. Quite have enough money for the uh, the workshop yet. Junkyard is currently closed. Yeah, let's buy some alcohol since I bought a alcohol stand. I have to keep an eye on the delivery and. Uh, Make sure that the warehouse doors are not closed when it gets here. And cars in need of repair will arrive at the garage automatically as long as the doors are opened. So now we get to work on cars. Oh yeah, we probably should open that, shouldn't we? No customers waiting at the moments. We're okay. Hopefully our fuel levels are okay too. Idea up the warehouse a bit while we're waiting. Sandbags rubbish. I mean, I do find this quite a handy thing to have. Especially if there's flooding. Not that there's going to be much of that here in the desert, but you never know. Oh, we do have a customer at fuel, and the delivery just arrived, so we will sort that out as soon as we've sorted this delivery out, because it's here anyway. Okay. Thank you. Off with you. We get like a small bit of money every time we clean up some rubbish. I know that £1.50 was probably somebody using the toilet, wasn't it? Let's go sell some alcohol. And other stuff. But first, change this rubbish bag. No problem. That's my fuel. Super speed. You're a lifesaver. Do a quick wipe down every time we start, and then it can't go wrong for me. I have no idea where that just went. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait. Oops. Sorry. I'm a bit too quick then, and um, that guy's kind of potato chips just sort of rocketed off, didn't it? <laughs> Here we go. Alchemahal.
and his other delivery truck going away. Yeah. We need to make some sales now. Earn that money back. Oh, waiting for customers though. Let's do a bit more cleaning up. That's probably not rubbish, but... A lot of this is. Ah, another computer. Handy. Not all rubbish. We do need to order some more fuel soon. We should do that actually. Order a hundred dollars worth of fuel. Ah, we haven't got enough to order fuel. Oops. Me to earn a bit more money first. Let's slow it down a bit this time. Next one, I think, goes catapulting off into the distance. Thanks. It wasn't too bad. 20% the way to level 3 on the popularity. Alcohol. <laughs> you paint the inside. Oh, I think we can. Oh, we can paint the inside. Handy to know. A bit more painting while we're waiting, then. Oh, wait, why is it white? Oh, does it not remember the, uh... If it doesn't remember color. No, it doesn't seem like it does. Oh, damn. Oops. Ah, now it's starting to look good. Nice and homely. Stay in the green. And then we got a customer to fill after this then. I'm going to have to sweep that off the floor, aren't we? Yeah, that's not too bad. Hopefully we got enough fill for you today, sir. Top of the line job there. Okay. We definitely need to order more fuel. Do we enough for 100? No, we do not. We're almost there, but not quite. Fuel status low. I know, I know. Come on, buy some stuff. Buy lots of stuff. Buy some alcohol, that's worth a lot. You're welcome. Ooh, fuel. Do we have enough to cover it? Yes, we do. Thankfully. Thanks. Yeah, we definitely need to order some. We have enough now, though. There we go. 100 liters. Finish painting. Didn't look much better in you already. Nice warm orange to welcome people in.
Popularity level 3, folks. We're getting there, we're getting there. I'm going to sort of cut in between these to try and keep the video a bit shorter, but what we may have to do is put the Junkyard DLC in the follow-up video to this, which I will release as close to this one as I possibly can, but otherwise this video is going to be like three hours long. So we'll um, I'll keep playing, and when I reach level four, I will show you guys what level four is, and then in the next video, we will play the Junkyard DLC. Otherwise, this video is going to be about, like I said, three hours long. Yes, fuel, catch the bar. We're running low on fuel. You're a lifesaver. To order some more, two hundred and thirty-two dollars. We should have enough money to do that. Uh, delivery fuel. There we go. Clean the conveyor. We haven't catapulted anybody's goods uh, onto another planet yet. Again, which is good. <laughs> Here we go, and we've got our shells fully stocked, we have our alcohol, we have our soft drinks, and we have our snacks, so we, we're getting there, we have a good amount of stuff on the shelves. All we need to do now is save up $500 to buy the workshop, because there's another uh, avenue of income for us. I wonder at what level you unlock employees, I'm guessing level 5. Until then, we got to do everything ourselves. I how much it costs to upgrade the parking lot to the next level. Where was that? Upgrades? Was that upgrades? No, I don't think it was. It was features, wasn't it? Yeah, other... The parking lot level 2 is also $500, but that would allow us to have more cars and customers here at the same time. Might be worth going for. Ah, uh, fuel truck. Serve this guy and then we'll uh, go at the fuel truck. Hopefully we've got enough to cover it. Yeah, they only want nine, nine gallons, liters, whatever it's in. Um, it's America. It's probably gallons, isn't it? Oh, okay. He's not ready yet. We'll serve the customer at the cash register. Oops, some of the alcohol's going. No ice. Have a nice day. You too. There we go. Should help us a little bit. Okay, I shall see you guys when we have enough money to unlock the workshop. So what we may do, folks, just to hasten things along a little bit, and hopefully it's not the right, uh, the wrong choice, but what if we take a loan from our uncle? Who can uh, loan us $500? Because hopefully with the workshop uh, open, we should be able to, like make a fair bit of money back quickly, in theory. So we're going to try that, I think. Might be the wrong choice, but we'll see. So we're going to request a loan, $500, we'll have to pay back 8 There we go. We have 15... 15 minutes to pay off that loan. Oh, meanwhile, we're going to go to Upgrades, Workshop, Open. Okay, let's serve this guy first, and we'll go and have a look at the new workshop. That's a lot of snacks, fair play. Fuel. Incredible. Wait, what's that? It's like a map. Okay, you got mail. Congratulations, my little nephew. Your station has grown big enough to encompass a functional workshop. Well then, I do hope you realize that this doesn't mean sitting down your laurels without anyone to work for you. I suggest you pull those sleeves up and get ready for some solid elbow grease. I'm sure you'll find a variety of tasks to do for everyone stopping by needing their car fixed right up. Unfortunately for now, you will have to know how to do these things yourself, 
let's see. First, to start repairing a car, wait for the customer to get out of their vehicle, and then click the button on the left car lift. I heard you tried being a mechanic once. Well, put those home sensors, shift by default, to use by, <laughs> by and locate the broken parts marked in red. Before you start replacing them, find a proper counterpart and pick it up. That said, remember the parts do not appear from thin air. You will have to order them like any other product, and they will arrive with a delivery truck, much like other orders. Just remember to put them inside the workshop. They will obviously not fit inside the gas station. Now, get out there and don't keep those customers waiting. A lot to run by yourself, isn't it? <laughs> Wait for the client in the workshop and fix his car. Oh, so this is the workshop. Okay. At least we haven't got far to go. Magic button. Nice. We're 34% of the way to level 4, folks. We only have 12 minutes left to pay the remaining $800 loan. <laughs> Which we're gonna need to do. Because, uh, yeah, we don't want to get beaten up again by our uncle's associates, do we? Ah, here we go. So the wheel is broken. Need wheel to start fixing broken wheel. Are there no wheels in here? I gonna say we must have some wheels and things to start off start us off, right? Let's go to these trash bags. One wheel. Okay. I guess we take these nuts off. Remove the wheel. Put the new wheel on. Beep. Bzz, 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 bzz. And then the door. Uh, scratch remover to start fixing car scratch. Scratch remover. Clear mirrors. Scratch remover. What's a scratch remover? Ah, scratch doctor. Here we go. We just move it over like that, or all? Oh, the left mouse button to move to polish. Ah, oh, okay. Here we go. Well, good. Uh, oh, another mirror. We need uh, another mirror. We have to pick the old glass out. New mirror in. Just like new. Ooh, that was a decent amount of money. I think we might be okay paying back this loan. Oh, there's a queue. They're going to be annoyed. But yeah. We're a certified car mechanic. Great. Next. Sorry for the wait. Incredible. Let's do the fuel next, because they might be waiting a while too. We only have one fuel pump at the moment, so only one car can wait with the fuel pump at a time. And go back to you. Thank you. Nice. Order car parts to restock your supplies. Delivery. Parts. Car parts delivery. Car parts function identical to purchasing products. Prices change every day and mid at midnight. Green arrows indicate a bargain price. A red mean the price is less favorable. You will make a profit regardless, but bargain prices save you more money on parts. You can track the price curve by looking at the price history for each part. You can order only one delivery truck from each company at the same time. Okay. Good to know. I mean, we're okay on parts at the moment, but I have to curiosity. So green means it's a good price, yeah? So click on that. Yeah, so it's at a good price today. Oops. And then the tires, good price today. Car mirror, good price today. Good to know. And we got to order more car parts, apparently, even though we, we have some in stock. Does this just go in the bid? I 
guess they do. What the glass? Does that get disposed of? But we gotta do that too. I don't see any glass on the floor. Got some red fuel. So why don't we have a lot of? I mean, we can order more. Let's order some more tires in then, just to complete that current task. Have a nice day. Tires. So delivery parts, tires. Good price. Is there a minimum order? There is, but we don't need any more, really, do we? Okay, we don't need that many. Let's, oh, one, two, three, one, one. There we go. That's my right gar garage. When the delivery truck arrives, unpack all the car parts to the warehouse. Boop. Hey, what's wrong with your car? It's the wheel. It's wheelie in need of replacing. <laughs> Okay, so we got boop, 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 boop. Old tire comes off. We got a new tire goes on. We got boop, 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 boop. And done. Was there anything else? Oh. Quite a few tires. How did you manage to destroy all, th like, three of your tires, my friend? Uh, one more. Glad we ordered um, quite a few wheels. New one on. It's a nice, easy sort of uh, mini game, this, isn't it? 538. We have six minutes left to pay our debt, so we need to make sure we're doing that. We don't want to get beaten up. No, we do not. <laughs> Why is there a fish on the floor? You're a lot, <laughs> the hell? Is it, is it rain herrings or something? <laughs> yes, yeah, serve this customer and then we'll sort the warehouse out on the fuel. job there. Thank you very much. You will. Pretty much what I asked for. I will need to order some more fuel. We have five minutes left to uh, pay off our debt. So hopefully somebody comes to the garage and we can get a nice two, three hundred dollar repair for. These just get loaded into the warehouse the same as the other products. Assuming so. Yep. Okay. Close the door. We need to order some more fuel. Order a hundred dollars worth of a uh, hundred gallons worth of fuel. Not gonna be a very good gas station without fuel, are we? Oh, well, the price has gone up and all. Come on, car repay. Come on, car repay. Ooh, repay. Nice. Uh, four, min four and a half minutes before we get beaten up. Yeah, let's uh, clean up first, otherwise people are going to complain about that. Okay, let's fix this car. Come on, that's going up. Do the fuel. Awesome. There we go. Get that one up the way. Okay, what we got? We've got busted tires. These need to go in the bin. Put them there for a minute. 
could literally just buy one tire. I thought we were buying like, um, you know, sets of tires or something. It's literally just bought one of each. <laughs> we have enough for this job. So it's okay. Oh, fuel delivery. Sort this out. Okay, what else is wrong? Uh, scratch. Oh, there's a hefty scratch, isn't it? How much do I owe you? 160 bucks, thank you very much. Oh, we're running out of time to pay our debt. I'm scared. <laughs> Great job. Two minutes left. Have a nice day. Yeah, we're definitely not selling enough to uh, pay our debt back. Extension? Please? <laughs> oh, we're gonna get killed. Maybe it was the wrong call to borrow uh, money off ankle. Maybe, maybe we can make a part payment. Yes, what if we make a part payment? Will that help the time go up? Um, services, loans, pay off. Um, we'll pay off 500. Nope, that doesn't buy us any extra time. Damn it. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get... We're gonna get beaten up again. Moral of the story, folks. Don't buy, borrow money off a loan chart. We have 50 seconds to come up with $300. We need somebody... Yes, come on, come on in. Thing is, are we going to have enough time to work on it before we get lynched? We need a tyre. Just a tyre. Oh dear, that's not going to give us the uh, amount of money we need. <laughs> and the time is about to run out. We made a part payment. That should buy us a bit of bonus time, surely. Great. 50 bucks. Oh, it's not enough. Not enough. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Hey, Paul. You failed to pay a debt in time. Minus 100 popularity. Minus $183.72. Well, damn. <laughs> oh, and that kid's back. So that's what happens when you don't pay a debt. Is take all the money you have left, and you lose all your reputation. Go back down to the beginning of level 3. So I'm going to end the video there, folks. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. The next video following this, we will be level 4 and we will be looking at the Junkyard DLC and that video will be out either tomorrow, which is Monday. Actually, it will be out tomorrow, 100%. So, uh, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching, folks, and see you in the next one.